Hello everyone, thank you for joining us at Peace News Now. Today is Wednesday, March 20th, and it is 3.21. I'm joined live by Athena Roberts, a liberty activist from Arizona, who has some important and urgent news regarding a bill uh, in Arizona. Athena, thank you for joining me. Hi, uh, yeah, I just wanted to let your listeners know that there is a bill in Arizona being proposed by the Arizona legislature. It's called SB 1432. Um, it's SB as in Sierra Bravo. And it will make it a crime for anyone who is transgender to use the bathroom and punishable by six months in prison and a $2,500 fine for something that doesn't actually hurt anybody. Um, it's being proposed by people claiming that you know that people like me are a threat to the threat to children, even though I, there's no real documented incident of anybody I know of doing anything to threaten anybody. We just go in, take care of business, wash our hands, and leave. So this is this will be used to discriminate against people who are transgender. Um, it's not in, it, and it will require basically anybody who uses the bathroom to have a birth certificate. That's how they're gonna they're saying if you're if you're if your gender doesn't match what's on your birth certificate, then and you're using the wrong bathroom, they'll 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 throw you in jail. So, so Nina, do you have uh, specific fears that you may be harassed by law enforcers for simply going to the bathroom? Yes. Yeah, I'm concerned that that's exactly what's gonna happen. I mean they're not gonna harass quote, you know, regular people or people they don't think are, are trans. They're going to, I mean, that, that's why this is created. And even in the talking points of the representative that is putting this out, that's what they're talking about. So it's not even equal application of laws. It's specifically directed against a specific group of people who don't harm anyone. But well, weren't things like the Bill of Rights uh, and the Constitution created to protect minorities uh, against the abuses of the majority? Isn't this something that uh, the government's supposed to be taken care of? Uh, you know, that's what I heard growing up in school, but uh, I don't really have any evidence to support that theory, <laughs> you know? So, I mean, certainly it didn't help the blacks, and, you know, and it didn't help women, you know, years ago, and they had to get the right to vote, so, or, or get blacks, get rid of slavery, so, you know, I, I yeah, and it hasn't helped me. What is it that you recommend individuals do if they wish to um, block this legislation? Well, I would suggest that they contact the representatives in the Arizona State House. I know there's going to be a listing of all the people in the Appropriations Committee, which is where this bill is starting, and they can call them and just you know voice uh, excuse me voice their disapproval. Of course, being, you know, polite and all that other kind of stuff, you don't want anybody, you know, swearing at them and these kinds of things, even though they, well, anyway, they don't want, we don't want people swearing at them. So, um, and, yeah, and so, I, yeah, you said you're going to have a list of the names and numbers, the, the ad, email addresses. There are some people that support it, I mean, or that don't, that are on our side, they generally tend to be Democrats in this instance. Um, however, the, the uh, people that are, dom the people that dominate this committee are Republicans, and, and the person that's proposing the bill is Republican. So anyway, remind us one more time when the vote is happening. Uh, the discussion starts at 2 p.m. today. That's Wednesday, the 20th of March, and that's uh, well, what would be Mountain Standard Time. Or we're, we don't use daylight savings time, so it's it's um it's I guess the same time as Pacific Standard Time now. So it's no, it, 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 it'll it'll be in um. It'll be in about an hour and a half from now is when the discussion will start. Okay, so. perfect. Thank you. Thank you for filling us in. And uh, I certainly will leave a list of phone numbers and email addresses for all of the committee members to whom you uh, can write and, and um, phone call. So thank you very much, Athena, for putting uh, this issue in front of the people. And is there anything else that you wanted to let the listeners know before you go? Uh, Thank you to anyone who, who calls, you know, um, I understand, I don't want to go there either, I got 101 better things to do with my time, I just feel like that this is something that is personally threatening me, and, you know, that's why I'm doing this, you know, I, 
So I, anyone who has the time and the inclination, please just give them a call. All right. Well, I appreciate you reaching out. And if anyone does want to give a phone call to any of those committee members, certainly you don't need to be from Arizona to speak out about the issue. And if you'd like to record your call in video or audio, I'd be happy to feature that on PNN. So send me your videos at contact at peacenewsnow.com. I want to thank Athena Roberts for her time today. Thank you uh, to our listeners and viewers, and we'll be with you again shortly. Peace. Mm -hmm.